What is going on guys, 6.0 guy here today. Thank you for tuning in to another video. So I decided to make a video today on a question that get asked a lot actually, um, not only in DMs on Instagram, but also on YouTube. A lot of you guys have been asking me to make a video on how much I am paying for this uh, 2020 Dodge Charger Hellcat. Why body Daytona, still a very long name, but I, I get asked this question a lot. Um, you know, how much am I paying monthly for it? How much did I get the car for? Am I financing or leasing it? And these are all pretty interesting questions that I'm sure a lot of you guys want answered. So I just decided to, you know, make a quick video on it. We're just gonna get straight to the point here. I hate, you know, blabbering on. Let's go ahead and start her up. Actually, I kind of want to go for a drive while I talk. I haven't been able to drive the car too often just because I've been busy with work restrictions and whatnot. Still a baby. Almost 1,800 miles on her. It's been over a month now. <laughs> the guy was shaking his head like I was going fast. Let's go on the speed limit, guy. Anyways, guys, so I, um, you know, we're just gonna go down the list of all the questions that I get asked, starting with the most common questions. So the first question that I mainly get asked is how much am I paying for this car, how much am I paying for my Hellcat? So the answer to that, I am paying eleven $1 hundred and two dollars for this car. So it's a uh, you know one thousand one hundred and two dollars. The second question I get asked a lot: How much money did I put down? The answer to that is eight thousand dollars. I put eight thousand dollars down. I'm paying eleven $1 hundred a month, which to a lot of you guys might seem a little bit steep. For me, it was actually a pretty good deal, considering the fact that I had a trade-in. Uh, for those guys that have followed me, you know, before I just got this Daytona, I had a 2016 Dodge, Ch Ch Dodge Challenger Hellcat, the uh, the red line red color. Beautiful car, I loved it. Sadly, you know, at the end of the pretty much term, like the whole year before, I kind of fucked up the car. It was uh, mainly my fault, and I caused a lot of depreciation on that car. So when I went to trade in that car, I believe, you know, my car's worth around like $33,000 for a Hellcat, which is pretty cheap. And I owed about 46. So, I mean, you guys can do the math. I pretty much was upside down $13,000 on my old Hellcat, which absolutely blew. It was pretty terrible. I was just totally over the car. I'll be honest, like I fell out of love with my Hellcat. It was just like not the same after like all this shit that, you know, all the problems that I had with the car. I mean, that's a whole nother video that I could get into about all the problems that I had with my old Hellcat. Uh, they were mainly my fault too. You know, don't get me wrong. You know, Dodge makes great products. It's just basic wear and tear, but it was just a lot of shit. This Camaro's like coming up behind me right now. But yeah, it was just, you know, a lot of problems. It's a huge headache and I really was not happy with uh, my car overall and I knew it was just time to trade it in for something else. So um, yeah, with that being said, so with the negative equity, it was around $13,000. So I pretty much had to come out of pocket. Actually, the, the bank told me I needed to put some money down in order to offset the equity, the negative equity that was on my old car since we rolled over the negative. So we rolled over some of the negative equity onto, you know, this car right here. Um, so I put eight grand down, so which, uh, you know, which pretty much turned down the equity around. There's about five grand in negative equity now versus 13 grand, which is way better. Uh, this Camaro's pulling up on me right now. on and everything. Anyways guys we're kind of getting off topic here this Camaro just Jesus. Anyways guys so yeah I did put eight grand down thirteen hundred a month not bad um, concerning you know everything that I went through it was a pretty good deal on my end. Now the third question that I get asked is how much did I pay for this car and the answer to that is I paid seventy eight thousand dollars for this car which I mean for a Hellcat limited edition Daytona it's not bad you know I've seen a few dealerships like overmark the shit out of these cars for well over um, six figures I think I saw one or two for a hundred and ten thousand which is absolutely insane for I mean a Dodge I mean I would not pay six figures for a Dodge that's absolutely insane but anyways yeah there was a markup on this car we were able to negotiate it down a little bit I mean not a little bit actually a lot we pretty got we got a really good deal on this car not gonna lie big shout out to my boy rush for helping me negotiate on it we spent two days at the dealership trying to work out a deal on this car so I mean it was just it was honestly tough it's exhausting so that that's 
the tough part is like you never know if you're actually gonna get the get the car um, it could all just be a waste of time and it just it drains you know it takes all the energy out of you but anyways yeah I did come out at 78,000 with the car so eleven hundred dollars uh, a month with eight thousand down isn't too bad now <laughs> this is the main thing that a lot of people are like kind of like throwing out people are thinking oh like I found I financed I either financed this car or I leased it or I just bought it straight out you know with cash y'all think I'm balling like that I just you know, have 80 grand to throw away I did not buy out this car cash I actually I did lease it so this is a lease now before all you guys start you know going all crazy as to why I lease this car over financing it you guys are like oh dude like you can't mod your car anymore blah 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 all this stuff that people are kind of talking out of their ass they don't know really what they're talking about now on a lease I am still modding the crap out of this car obviously when I trade it into the dealership when I turn it back in I got to revert everything back to stock which is not difficult at all I mean my old Hellcat was also a lease many of you guys might not know that it was a lease for three years now the reason why I lease cars over buying it is because I'll be honest I get very bored of cars like extremely quickly you guys have to understand there's always going to be a newer car the newer version out every single year every year passes there's always something new i mean i just picked up this daytona about a month ago and i'm already hearing leaks of a blueprint of a charger or hellcat wide body red eye now so that just goes to show like there's always going to be something better out there so i don't want to you know finance the car be on the hook for a good six to seven year loan like a 72 month loan versus a two to three year lease once that once the lease is up i just trade in the car and get into something newer without having to worry about any of depreciating assets blah 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 all this interest that you have to pay during financing it's just not what i want to deal with now with my old hellcat i know i, I just said i had a bunch of negative equity in the car that is due to the fact that i fucked it up so much and i also drove the shit out of it so when i uh turned in the uh, my old hellcat i almost i had pretty much sixty thousand miles on the car i think the odometer was like fifty nine thousand. 700 or something so it was pretty much at 60,000 miles and my lease the mileage cap was I mean 36,000 uh, miles over three years so they gave me 12,000 uh, miles per year which uh, you know I pretty much doubled that so that's why there was so much negative equity and whatnot in the lease now with this car I'm definitely gonna be smarter and not drive it as much I pretty much just got this car just to make videos and uh, that's pretty much it just to make YouTube videos for you guys uh, make content I mean I do enjoy driving a Hellcat don't get me wrong but at the same time I have to be smart about it this time you guys don't understand how much money and time I spent into my old Hellcat it was insane just the amount of money that I spent on gas alone I mean 60,000 miles on gas alone I, I got to do the math on that one but I I really don't want to do the math because I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna fucking cry when I find out the numbers but I spent a ton of money just in gas alone uh, not to mention like maintenance and whatnot so um, this car definitely gonna be a little bit smarter on uh, not drive it as much um, I have been driving it here and there obviously but especially with this quarantine thing my whole work schedule I'm working a ton of hours so this is the first time that I've driven the car this whole week and today is uh, What's today? Today's Friday, so I'm, just, I'm sure I'll post this video tomorrow, but yeah, I mean, it's Friday, guys, and I haven't driven the car since Sunday, so it's been like a good, you know, four or five days that I've driven this car, uh, mainly due to work. All right, and another question I actually do get a lot about is um, how, what does your credit score have to be in order to purchase a car like this? So your credit score is definitely important when you're looking at like leasing or financing a car. If you have a ton of money, say, or if you wanna pay cash, obviously they're not gonna run your credit. Now, if you do wanna finance or lease a Hellcat, I would say your credit score should be no less than 700. My credit score was well over 700. It was uh, pretty much close to 800 when I, when I purchased this car. But honestly, anything 700 and above would be fine. Uh, it's not so much about your credit score, it is then I would have to worry about more of uh, you know if you can afford this car just because you have a great credit score and everything does not mean that you can afford this car it just means that you're good at making payments on your credit card your auto loan your house loan whatever it is that your credit is based off of so it does not mean that you're able to afford a car like this just because you got approved for it doesn't mean that you can afford it um, you got to be very careful guys I know I mean this is an expensive car like it's not it's not cheap and people just think oh yeah you know if it's just my monthly payment it's not just that you guys gotta also think about your insurance first off and then maintenance gas 
all you know brake pads tires all this stuff is expensive it all adds up guys on my old hellcat i i swear to god i got new tires like every two months and each drag tire is around like 700 dollars. so 700 dollars every two months you know times a year that's you know six times that i'm replacing it seven times six is 4200 dollars, guys just in tires alone it's fucking expensive so you guys just have to realize it's not all about the credit score it's definitely has a lot to do with you know how much you're making a month if you don't if you feel like you're gonna get put on a very tight budget buying a car not just the hellcat but just any car in general i would not do it i would save up as much money as i possibly could or get a better job you don't need a car like this you just you want it okay this is not a necessity it's just like a want it's like a dream car that a lot of people want and don't get me wrong guys like you know follow your dreams do what you want strive for your goals but at the same time be smart with your money this is coming from a person i've made a ton of bad horrible financial decisions in my life just take my word for it just play it safe save your money and then when you're finally ready you'll know you're ready to purchase a car um, at least a car like this you guys will know you're ready don't go into and you know don't make any haste decisions um, based off of just like what you want um, rush taught me a lot about that too I was uh, you know originally when I went to the dealership I was planning on paying $1,500 a month and I was totally fine with that I was like yeah $1,500 a month fuck it that's fine as long as I get out of my old Hellcat since I absolutely hated my old Hellcat I was like so depressed over it because I had so many problems I was just like dude whatever it is I don't care I'll pay it and rush was like dude no you can't think like that and uh, you know thankfully he was there otherwise I'd probably be paying like fifteen to sixteen hundred dollars a month versus eleven hundred that I'm paying now um, so he definitely helped me a lot um, big shout out to you rush truly appreciate it but I hope that cleared some things up for you guys so just to summarize I put eight thousand dollars down for this car I am paying eleven hundred a month and the total price of the car came out to seventy eight thousand dollars and I am leasing it I am leasing it, I am not financing it, I did not buy out you know, this car with cash. Some of you guys might be sad that, oh dude, like you're probably not gonna keep the car. What if, you know, this is a limited edition, it's gonna keep its value. It may, it may not, you know, there's always something new that Dodge, especially Dodge, they come out with shit like every fucking year. For whatever reason, three years down the line, two to three years down the line, if it, you know, I find out that it does keep its value really well, then I'll end up keeping the car and I'll just get another one if it does keep its value that much. I don't think it will but if it does then I'll keep it I can always buy out this car at the end of my lease term so I'm not too worried about that uh, but there always is something better out there you know every year like I said they're coming out with the red eye hopefully soon actually if they come out with it within the next two years I will definitely be you know one of the first people in line to pick one of those bad boys up It's definitely a beautiful car I mean I, I'm totally in love with this wide body and if they throw the red eye engine in it you got me sold already man they kind of just throw the engine into everything but you know it works for them Dodge's marketing is absolutely amazing but that is gonna be the end of this video guys hope you did enjoy if you did please like and subscribe also drop a comment Comment down below letting me know what videos you guys do want to see in the future. I'm Six Boy Tailgate. Have a great night, guys. Take care.